Hello and welcome to NSERV. Thank you for joining us here for another informative, motivational, and full of secrets video. Please keep watching until the end of the video as usual. We leave you with a gift that should help you in life, even change it for you. As Warren Buffett said, want to increase your wealth? This is how, and that is the title of this video. This information comes from people who have studied millionaires for many years and found out their secrets that differ from normal day thinking that we are taught in schools. I have been releasing a series of videos on this channel that have been covering this information and explaining it in simple terms to share it with NSERV subscribers. Wealth, money, and prosperity. These are the dreams everyone aspires to, yet achieved by few. Today, let's talk about your relationship with money. Okay with you? So I'll start by asking you a question, and I want you to be honest, all right? Have you ever wondered why some people manage to become rich, while others continue to struggle with debts and expenses year after year? Have you noticed something? Why does school teach us things we'll never use in life, but never teach us about money? Why does it have to be like that? If school taught you about money, perhaps you'd already be rich today. But if school didn't teach you, I will. Because what you never learned about money in your entire life, you'll learn in this short video. Let's dive into the world of personal finance, entrepreneurship, and much more. Are you ready to change the way you think about money? Let's start with simple things. Is money good or bad? If you've been taught that money is something bad, you need to rethink your beliefs about money. Often in movies, the rich are portrayed as dishonest cheats. And you might think, I don't want to be dishonest or a cheat, so I'll remain poor. However, money can't be good or bad. People are good or bad with money. Money simply amplifies their options. I can use a sum of money to do illicit things, but I can also use that same money to buy food for the homeless. In this case, money is just a facilitator in our lives. But we determine the options. How many times have you heard that the rich don't enter heaven I've heard it many times myself, so you might think if the rich don't enter heaven, then I want to be poor, right? We need to rethink our beliefs because most rich people are hardworking and honest. That's why many people trust them because they are trustworthy. Would you trust doing business with dishonest people? Definitely not. So why do you think others would? People trust the rich because they're trustworthy. Of course, there are dishonest rich people too, many who earn fortunes illegally. But I want you to understand that most aren't like that. When the media finds a dishonest rich person, they talk about it all the time, until we get the impression that all the rich are dishonest, which isn't true. So, say it like this. I will be an honest rich person. I've met honest and dishonest rich people as well as honest and dishonest poor people. So rethink this situation because you'll never become something you despise. If you despise the rich, you'll probably never become one. So how about changing that perspective? The other question is whether the rich go to heaven or not. Let me tell you something. The Creator created all things. All the wealth in this world belongs to Him. For God Himself says, the silver and gold are all mine. Now I ask you, how can a God that owns everything want His children to suffer? We need to reform our thoughts about this because the God of the Bible is an abundant God in grace, love mercy, and His desire is children to prosper too. Now I need you to understand something very serious. Money needs to be in your bank account or in your pocket, but never in your heart, right? Repeat after me. Your money needs to be in your pocket or in your bank account and never in your heart. When used for good money can even facilitate your spirituality because you can use your money abundantly to help your needy brother. Some people are so mediocre in this that when they pray, they ask God only for their daily bread. So I ask you, if God needs you to feed a homeless person, what do you do? Since you only asked for yourself, if God wants you to financially bless a missionary on a mission on another continent, what do you do? You only think of yourself, only ask for yourself. Are you individualistic? No, you're not individualistic. You just have a mistaken thought about money that needs to be corrected. When you pray, ask God to greatly bless your financial life so that you can live well and bless others too. So we've already dispelled two big myths. The myth that every rich person is dishonest and the myth that the rich don't enter heaven. Can we continue? If you understand, please comment like this. 
I understand. Now learn a great lesson about money. Money doesn't accept disrespect. It's an excellent servant, but a terrible master. Learn to master it or it will master you. Know how to intentionally control everything that comes in and goes out of your life in terms of money. Know exactly how much you owe each month in fixed bills and try to reduce any cost that doesn't make sense. There's something called a credit card, which is the terror of many families, because people think that the credit card balance is an extension of their salary or wage. But no, my friends, it's not. Understand this, if you spend all your credit card balance and these expenses exceed the value of your monthly salary or wage, Congratulations, you've just harmed your finances and it can cost you dearly. Every time you use a credit card, think, do I really need what I'm buying? If you ask yourself and really think about it, you'll realize that most of the things that you buy with a credit card most of the time you don't need. Because I have never known anyone who got into debt with a credit card because they needed to buy groceries for the month. But I've seen many people who got into debt buying a new phone, a new TV, new clothes, and in the end they didn't need any of it, they just bought it on impulse. Some people are consumers by nature, have a habit of spending recklessly, and this needs to be corrected if you want to be rich someday. But if you want to remain poor, you don't need to change anything. That's the path. I don't know about the rest of the world, but here in Australia, where I live and in America, we usually say the credit card is a quick fix. A quick fix is a popular saying we use when something made our lives easier in a particular situation. For example, my car broke down and my friend gave me a ride. In this case, my friend did me a favor. Yes, many people use the credit card as a quick fix, but be careful, my friends, because this favor it does today is the same favor it will use to hit you on the butt later. I use a credit card in a smart way it's what I call using other people's money, while my money works for me. For example, I use a credit card that has a very small annual fee. I do all of my purchases through that card, knowingly. It will be paid off fully at the end of the month. So I pay no interest on the use of the card for the month at all. So I use other people's money to pay bills and groceries for the month, then pay off fully the card at the end of the month. If you use a credit card like this, then you are expressing control and are using your money wisely. Again, please watch this video until the end and gain from it as we always have goodies at the end. Anyone who has watched one of these videos until the end knows that, like you do, right? Our financial life has four levels. I will explain each one and you'll see where you fit, okay? The first level is the worst of all. The person receives the salary or wage of the month, and when they do the math, they realize they spent more than they earned. The numbers never add up. They earn 2,000 and spend 2,500. I imagine the person in this situation can hardly sleep at night. It's lamentable. It destroys families. I've seen countless relationships that ended not for lack of love, but because of numerous arguments arising from lack of money. Let's take our finances more seriously. The second financial level is spending everything you earn. The person receives their salary or wage, manages to pay all their debts, but nothing is left, not even for an ice cream. The person can pay all debts, but nothing is left. This financial model also needs to be corrected as soon as possible because this person isn't living, they are just surviving. Agree. The third level is a bit better. The person receives the salary or wage, manages to pay all the month's debts, manages to save some money, but the money saved, they don't know what to do with it. So they end up wasting this surplus on useless things or sometimes leaves this money in savings. And this money is being devalued every day because of inflation. The fourth financial level is what I recommend to everyone. The person receives their salary or wage, manages to pay all bills, save some money, and this surplus serves as a multiplier. For example, buy something for $50 and sell for $100, many years ago myself. NServe practiced this very same thing on eBay. I would buy something for $20 each in bulk and sell it for $40, making a profit after all expenses for using eBay was paid, I doubled my money on every product I sold. This is being an entrepreneur. But if you don't know how to be an entrepreneur, you need to know how to invest. 
to operate your financial life at level four. First, make sure you have money left over, then make it multiply. Take your surplus and buy stocks with potential for appreciation, buy real estate funds. These are variable income assets. The profit here is higher, but there are more risks. Or invest in something less risky, but with less profit, less profit is better than none. In this case, you could invest in treasury bonds, for example. Search on YouTube later about how to invest your money wisely. The investment has to have three things. It needs to be safe, profitable, and have liquidity. Now let's talk a little about money. Money has five levels. Don't confuse it with financial levels. Financial levels are four, which we just talked about. Now let's talk about the five levels of money. The first level of money is earning. This is non-negotiable. Find a way to earn money, so the first level is earning. The second level is investing. Got some money? Set aside a portion of that money to invest, right? Because this will make your money grow over time. Invest even if it's the minimum. For example, received 100, invest 10, receive 200, invest 20, and so on. So the second level of money is investing. Got some money? Take some of it out to invest. The third level of money is saving. When considering spending, ask yourself, do I really need this item? Most of the time, you will find that you don't. I want you to understand that I don't want you to be stingy or deprive yourself of things you enjoy eating. That's not what I am teaching here. Sometimes you will feel like eating a pizza, so go ahead because you deserve it. But if you are buying a new pair of shoes and you know that you already have 150 pairs of shoes in the drawer, then save your money as it would be an unnecessary expense. After all, you are not a caterpillar. You only have two feet. The fourth level of money is keeping set aside part of your money because the money that you save will attract even more money. As money attracts money. For example, when you turn on the tap in your house, the water flows down and goes to the river. The river flows into the sea, so water goes where there is water. And hatred goes to those who hate, and love goes to those who love, and money goes to those who have money. And when you do personal tithing, you're saying, I have money. Then even more money will come into your life. This money you will leave stored in an account just to attract more money. But you might think, I earn little money, and if I do this, nothing will be left. So if you already earn little, 10% is almost nothing. You can do it. There are people around the world who live on much less than you and live well. Remember, put aside 10% of your income. Earn 50, put aside 5. It is very little and you won't miss it. The fifth level of money is spending. Here you pay your debts and buy what you like. But notice that money has five levels. Most people don't make money go through these five levels. The money that many earn only passes through the first and last level, which is earning and spending, earning and spending. If it is only like this, you will hardly get anywhere. Let's talk about receiving money. How do you receive your money? In the form of salary or wage, or in the form of profit, let me tell you something. Most people receive a salary or weekly wage, but profit is better than salary or wage. If you accept to work for someone in exchange for a salary, you're putting an end to the chances you have of earning more money. Because the salary or wage is payment for hours worked. Like your hours are limited, just like everyone else's. When your hours worked end, the chances of you earning more money also end. So it's preferable to work for profit not for salary or wage. For example, when you sell a product, you make a profit. Products can be unlimited, unlike your time. Many people say, I don't like selling. But the truth is, we're all sellers. We are all selling something. If you're an employee, in this case, you are selling your time. If someone is willing to pay for your time, it's because they are earning much more for your service. Yes, you are helping someone else's dream and being paid for your time. Now imagine if you use that time to work on something that's yours. Be passionate about sales. Sales are the best business in the world. Avoid selling your time, because time is the most scarce asset that humans have. Once wasted, you can't recover it. And many people spend their whole lives working for a salary or weekly wage, and that amount isn't even that high. People stop working on something for themselves to work for others. 
That's why you need to work on something that is yours. Because if you don't work hard to achieve your dreams, someone will hire you to achieve their dreams. And in return, they will give you a salary or wage while they keep all the profit. To attract wealth into your life, you need to work with giving and receiving. There are people who are great givers, but terrible receivers. They're too proud to receive something from someone. And there are also people who are great receivers, but terrible givers. They're mediocre people. So learn to work with giving and receiving. Giving and receiving is like a wheel. And you know that a half wheel doesn't turn, right? So for this wheel of wealth to turn in your life, it has to be complete. You need to learn to work with giving because giving will work as a multiplier in your life. Look at the gardener. He prunes the trees so they produce more flowers and fruits. Sometimes it's necessary to prune the money tree too so it produces more fruits. Giving has two faces. When you give to those in need, you're being charitable. Now, if you buy a gift for your friend and they could very well buy that gift themselves, then you're being generous. The interesting thing is to do both give to those in need and also to those who don't need. Because if you only give to those in need, you're training your brain the wrong way. Your unconscious brain will be programmed as follows. In order to receive, I need to be in need. Now when you give to those that don't need it, you're telling your subconscious, I receive even when I don't need it. You learned how to work with giving. Now you need to learn how to work with receiving. When someone offers you something, Accept it, because when a person does a good deed, dopamine is released in their brain, and they'll be happy. If someone offers you something, and you don't accept it, you're stealing someone's happiness. So for money to flow well in your life, make the wheel of wealth spin faster. Always work with giving and receiving. The world is always evolving. We are living in a forever changing world. Get used to it. Change is good. What do you work with today? There was a time when people worked in crop fields because that was what was available. At that time, those who owned property and the most servants, they were the ones that ruled the world. As the world is always evolving, the era of the Industrial Revolution arrived. Then the rural exodus effect occurred, which is the departure of people from the countryside to the city. They stopped working in the fields to work in companies with machines, during this time of the Industrial Revolution, those that had more money ruled the world. As the world is always evolving now, we're in the Digital Revolution. In 1996, Bill Gates said, in the future, there will be two types of companies, those that will do business on the internet and those that will be out of business. And believe it or not, that time is already here. The future Gates talked about has arrived. Look at your credit card. How many purchases have you made online in the last few months? Look how many meals you've ordered through apps. People ride in cars through apps. So the world today is digital. If people or companies aren't on the internet today, unfortunately, they're outdated. In the rural era, those who had land ruled. In the industrial revolution, those who had money ruled. In the digital revolution, those who have information rule. Notice that the valuable currency is always changing. The valuable currency today is information. It's worth more than gold. The digital era doesn't require you to be talented, doesn't require you to have diplomas. The internet is available to anyone who wants to enter, both as a spectator and as a producer. And the entry barrier is minimal. Sometimes a person only needs a cell phone to start creating digital content and make a lot of money. Today, what gives more money is being a digital content creator. The teacher who earns the most money is the teacher who created digital content. The doctor that earns the most money is the doctor that creates content for the internet. And there's room for you too, if you want. In my case, I'm not a doctor and I'm not talented, but I now have a lot of knowledge about creating digital content. I have seen many digital content creators online make millions through the internet. So today I create content without needing to appear and without using my voice. As many may know, this voice you are hearing isn't mine. It's a voice generated by artificial intelligence, but the text is 100% mine. I typed every word you are hearing, including these words I am typing now. If you want to make money from the internet, I left a link or two in the description for you to click. There are links to products you can try for free. 
There is an NServe tutorial link showing you how to use simple AI text to video and how to make YouTube thumbnails in seconds. Many people say, I don't make money because I don't have a good education. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I didn't manage to graduate from college and now, well, I see you still don't understand nowadays. To make money, it's not about that. Nowadays, you can manufacture nails and make more money than any doctors together because you'll earn for the value you generate for a person or companies. Let me exemplify. Imagine you manufacture nails to sell. You can sell nails to various stores that sell building materials, and you can even sell your goods online, even when you are sleeping. While a doctor can attend to one person at a time, you can attend to several people at once through online stores. But I know you don't manufacture nails. Let's go to another example then. Why does a digital influencer sometimes earn in a month an amount that a doctor won't earn in their entire life? Let's explain now. And everything I'm teaching you is for you to apply in your life somehow. Just for one moment imagine, and I will emphasize imagine. I'm a digital influencer and I have 3 million followers. Of course, some influencers have more than that. A very famous bag brand decided to hire me to promote their products in a 60-minute live stream. And during the live stream, only 1% of my 3 million followers decided to buy. So 30,000 people bought a bag on sale that costs 3,000. But during my live stream, I got a discount coupon and for my followers, each bag would cost 900. So the conclusion was as follows. 30,000 people spent 900 each. So I generated for the company that made the bags 27 million in 60 minutes. So it's fair that they pay me at least 1 million. Do you agree? Meanwhile, the doctor who charges 300 for each consultation in 60 minutes will be able to attend to at the most three people. So he'll earn 900 in 60 minutes. And in the same time, I can earn a million being a simple influencer. Do you see the impact that the internet can cause? While a doctor can impact the lives of a few people working from an office, an influencer can impact the lives of thousands of people and even millions. That's why I say the best business today is to work through the internet because you can impact many people with a global reach. People will pay you according to the value you generate. If you generate value for a few people at a time, you'll receive little. If you can impact the lives of thousands of people at a time, you'll earn thousands of dollars. If you can impact the lives of millions of people, you'll get millions of dollars. And that's the new game. Instead of lamenting, learn to play and play. There's room for you too. That's why Amazon, Facebook, YouTube earn billions a month because they impact the lives of billions of people. I know you couldn't create the new Amazon, but you could be a digital content creator and thus impact the lives of thousands, if not millions of people through your content. Please check out the links provided below in the description area as you will be amazed how easily it is using AI to make videos for you in minutes. You can create professional videos easy in minutes to promote products that you can get paid for each sale, or simply just make your social media platform light up with professional content. Follow a link to a free and serve easy to follow video tutoring. How to sign up and use this AI text to video making tool. The tutorial even shows you how to make thumbnails for your videos in seconds. Yes, folks, it's that easy. Please share this knowledge with people you know that want to make videos for social media, as this is a must-have AI friend. Because you have stuck around until the end, here are some goodies for you, as always. Our new website is up and running. Please be patient as we upload the content and complete the website. It's an Australian website, so it has .com.au after it. Please take the time to visit nserve.com.au and browse around for content and always changing offers to help you. Also, to give some people a start in the digital creator life, I have left a few links in the page description and on the first pinned comment on the comments page for you. They're very easy ways to make content for the internet. And how can you go wrong when nserve tutors you step-by-step -step by video guide through the sign-up process and an easy-to-follow user guide to get you started? Other links I have left below are also buried gems as there is some free signups to Shopify Store Builder and Shopify Website Builder if you want more incredible AI creative tools. Well, this is a free sign-up and trial for you. 
Go get your AI text to video and free thumbnail maker to kick off your YouTube channel or social media platform and surprise your friends. Not to mention the extra income you can generate. All you need to do is sign up to a company's website affiliate program that is always at the bottom of a company's website page and get a link to paste on the page for a product that you believe in. Now there soon will be two videos appearing on your screen that I prepared with great care. These videos are full of knowledge that will add great value to your financial life. Click on one of them and please save it to your watch list for later. Thank you for watching another NSERV video. Please subscribe, share and hit that like button for this video. Peace and may God bless.